scheduled to have a heavyweight contest take place right now. Matter of fact, this one got hyped up quite a bit. It was on uh, different social media where these two... Matter of fact, one of the reasons I wanted to take this job here tonight, was real happy that I got it, was to see this contest. And one of the gentlemen who was scheduled to compete was here, and now he's not. So we're going to call his opponent down, who made 235 so that he could fight heavyweight out of Rapid City, Joe Shivorkin. enough into the we can look into the camera if you'd like to oddly enough one of the insults hurled your way by your potential opponent who left was that you don't like to show up for fights and how uh, not just ironic but just completely vaginal is it <laughs> that he just goes on ahead and shows up I mean it's one thing not to show up you know you could understand that that did what he did, but was here, and now he's not. So, if there's anything you'd like to say to everybody that came to see you tonight, you know, you made 235 for this contest. Uh, you can uh, let us know right now. It's, uh, here's your victory, so to speak, because especially the way that it was said, you know, how, how, how strange and ridiculous. I just like to say that. Uh, He's a punk for not showing up. He talked a lot of crap on Facebook and everything else about my team, about me. They uh, said that I was backed out five times on other guys and that they didn't think I was going to show up. Uh, I have backed out on one fight, and that's because I still had a concussion. It was not due to anything else, and they took it the wrong way and wanted to run their mouth on Facebook. I'm here tonight to fight, and he showed up and left and don't want to fight me, so... It is what it is. Uh, I want to thank my coaches and my girlfriend and everybody coming out tonight. Uh, thank you, Jesus, that we're still here, and uh, have a good night. Amen. Again, thank you, Joe.